In a lot of ways, Thursday felt like the final day of the session. Senators gave going-away speeches. Others embraced and said their goodbyes. But it was also an odd end of the session. The senators had huge bills that they had to get over the finish line. The first being the so-called Grand Compromise. We're put in a situation where maybe because of this giant compromise, we all felt we had to vote for it. The bill lowers property taxes, giving more and more relief as the state hopefully recovers from the pandemic. It also incentivizes businesses. Rural senators said it's far from perfect, but they helped pass it, saying uh, they'll take the tax Senator relief. Freezer. And whether or not it's, uh, somebody thinks it's substantial or not, we can have that discussion, but it's really the, probably the biggest one thing we've done in six years. How, how better do you help people than giving them back their own money? It still drew pushback, with some saying it was rushed, that it could endanger future budgets, and that nobody got what they ultimately wanted. To come back in four months, we have a better and clearer picture of where we are financially, so that we don't handcuff ourselves of opportunities to make Nebraska better. Then came the final vote on dismemberment abortion, a procedure allowed in the second trimester of pregnancy. It's been struck down by most states that have passed similar laws, but conservative senators argued the bill would stand up in court. Not one time has there been a, has anyone pointed to a case that applies to the facts here, and it doesn't exist. Opponents promised a court challenge. Senator Carol Blood, who's well, voted for anti-abortion bills Catholic. in the past, says the bill the is written poorly, and the alternative and only blood method blood available is not any better. When you kill a child with a different method, you're not any better than when you're pulling them out limb by limb. What the hell is wrong with you? The abortion bill was passed by one vote. Also during debate on Thursday, Senator Steve Urban of Western Nebraska made some pretty controversial comments on coronavirus. He said that masks don't work and in fact they make you sicker and he also said that the state and the country should just go towards herd immunity. Of course, no credible medical expert would agree with statements like that. Reporting in Lincoln, John Kipper, Free News Now.